This is a short presentation about the Jaggi Globe expedition to climb the volcanoes in Mexico, including the highest peak in Mexico, Pico de Orizaba, which is the highest volcano in North America and the third highest peak in total in North America, a fact that many people would not know after Denali, which is in Alaska, and Logan, which is in Canada, the third highest peak overall in North America is the volcano of Pico de Orizaba in Mexico. And this is the, the third and highest peak that we climb during this two week expedition, which Jaggi Globe has now been running for over a decade. It was first climbed in 1848 by two American soldiers and is perhaps att attempted by a couple of thousand people a year, most of whom will be local Mexicans. <clears throat> One of the features of, of this trip is, is the, the chance just to, to see a new country. There's many interesting things in Mexico, which I don't think as climbers we, we were aware of before we visited. And this is the 2017 group visiting one of the archeological sites outside Mexico City. <laughs> and during, during this expedition, we're going to climb three peaks. The first one, Nevado Toluca, at just under 4,700 metres, is a, a one day walk from the, the lodge that we stay in, through quite easy grassy terrain onto a slightly scrambly rocky summit. <clears throat> and we then travel to the other side of Mexico City where the, the highest peaks in the country are located, including Ista, the third highest peak in the country at 5,220 metres. We drive to the car park and then hike up to, to a camp at 4,400 metres. There is a hut that can be used, but it's often overcrowded. So, so we choose a route that uses this quiet campsite. And then on the summit day, starting before dawn, initially on moving on rocky terrain, watching the sunrise as we head up to the, the snowy summit slopes. Uh, nowhere particularly difficult, no need for fixed ropes or for the team to rope together, uh, walking with crampons on, on quite a hard snowy surface. Once we gain this undulating ridge, it takes a few hours to head along towards the summit. And a, a slightly pixelated uh, phone picture of the whole group on the summit, 5,220 metres high. And then retracing the route down that ridge, slightly warmer now, the sun's coming out, and excellent views over Popocatapetl, the second highest peak in Mexico, which is still an active volcano and therefore climbing isn't allowed. Almost all the shots that you get of this mountain have got uh, smoke rising from the top. <clears throat> Before moving on to the, the third and main climb, we spend a little time in Puebla, a really interesting uh, city with uh, some good Spanish colonial architecture and a, a very worthwhile art gallery. The one bad thing I could say about the, the trip to Mexico is the traffic. The, the climbing, the hiking is great in quiet areas, but when we do have to move uh, between these lo locations, the, the traffic jams can be, can be quite severe. Uh, the side of Mexico that's perhaps less than ideal. So we drive to a, to a lodge where we get this good view over Orizaba. And then early in the morning set off with the vehicles through some fairly rough terrain heading towards the Piedra Grande hut. Uh, and th this is the only hut located within, within the cl climbing distance of the summit. Uh, if there are no other groups around, it's possible to stay in it and it's reasonably spacious. 
However, we always travel with our own tents uh, and stoves and cooking equipment so that should the hut be busy, we've got the option of sleeping outside where things will be just a bit quieter. <clears throat> we do the first day we're there, we can do an acclimatisation hike, just get familiar with uh, how the path leaves the hut and the first section of the climb towards the summit. And then when we do start on summit day, the, the time I was there, we started at 3 a.m. in the morning up these moderate angled slopes <clears throat> with a good view of the, the sunrise behind the peak of Orizaba, showing the sh throwing the shadow out towards the, the peaks we've been climbing previously. Uh, working with some local Mexican guides, we've divided the group up into a number of subgroups, traveling on quite small rope parties up these moderately steep slopes where when I was there the snow was quite hard so although although not terribly steep good crampon technique required to climb this ground safely and that's why the the local guides adopt quite a, a short rope technique so that should somebody slip they, they're able to arrest them quite quickly so zigzagging up these fairly uniform angled slopes uh, as the morning goes on, good views over the surrounding peaks. And we we made it to the top by 10 a.m. So that was a, a seven hour ascent. Here we got most of the group just uh, on the final slopes. With a, a team picture of half the team on on the actual summit. So uh, a good a good trip for for two weeks, getting in a, a lot of climbing three summits in a, a country which none of the, the group uh, ha had travelled to previously and probably wouldn't have thought of going to as, as a tourism destination. And these, because the uh, time of year, these trips happen in November and December. So it's good to get away from the British winter weather and go climbing somewhere where it's uh, liable to be sunny with uh, Good, good long days and, uh, and and good weather conditions for the climb. <clears throat>